So this short chapter, we're gonna talk a little bit about feeding uh, and how the roots get uh, the nutrient solution for the plant. So essentially it's, it's gonna pump the nutrient solution up into here. It's gonna pull it over the plants. If you have your blocks sitting here, or you have several blocks in here, the roots are gonna grow out into these channels and the roots are gonna take up the nutrients for the plant. Now with feeding, it's a constant, it's, it's constantly feeding all the time, 24 seven. You're gonna have this pump on and it's just gonna be pumping the water through and it's just gonna kind of almost be like a stream out in the wild. Now you see plants growing around streams and around uh, waterfalls and, and rivers and things like that. That's exactly what's happening with nutrient film technique because it's just constantly running. Now one thing you wanna do is definitely test your pH with a pH meter such as this or maybe a pH pen or, uh, or, or a parts per million meter. Both of those, you can just shove those in here. Always be testing your pH solution uh, to make sure that everything is, is, is good as far as the boundaries that it's within. It needs to be within 5.5 to 6.3. Anywhere in that range will work for this um, to make sure that nutrients are readily available. Uh, you won't need to use a timer uh, just because it's constantly on. There's no point in putting a timer on this because it needs to stay on 24 seven. Now, if your pump breaks for any reason, then the plants will be dying in a matter of two or three days. I mean, they'll just start croaking because there's no, there's no nutrient solution getting to the plant. So make sure that you check your pumps all the time uh, and, and then it'll just constantly feed. So it's a constantly feeding solution. It's not like any other type of system out there where it just feeds it on a time schedule. So you always gotta be checking your nutrients. You always gotta be checking your pH and everything like that. And just follow your nutrient calendar. Whenever you're ready to switch over to flowering or if you're in a certain stage of flowering that requires more phosphorus, um, you're gonna have to empty this out and then refill it back up again or just add a little bit more and top off the solution. So this ends the chapter on feeding for a nutrient film technique system. Yeah.